These headphones definitely sound as good as they look. Let's check them out. Dave Taylor here, and I'm checking out these. These are the Audio-Technica ATH-WP900 high-res headphones, and they are wired. There's no Bluetooth, there's no microphone. The entire focus here is on really good audio reproduction, and they absolutely succeed. These sound great. Now, let me tell you some of the specs, but obviously the thing that most jumps out is this beautiful flame maple and black color scheme. So this is a wood that's been varnished or finished somehow, and it's absolutely beautiful. You can see in this close-up, it just has this nice deep sheen to it. But more importantly, this fire maple is actually something used in musical instruments because of its rigidity. So it gives a really good sort of backboard to the sound, which gives you really nice sound reproduction. Now, these actually deliver five to 50,000 hertz, which is way beyond anything you or I can hear, but it just has a huge dynamic range, 100 decibels a milliwatt of sensitivity, uh, 53 millimeter drivers, it's a 38 ohm impedance when you plug them in, and there's two different plugs, I'll get back to that in a second, and the drivers also use what's known as a diamond light carbon coating, which you find in even more expensive headphones too. Now, the headphones actually use a connection for the wires that's pretty interesting. This is the A2DC connection. This is an Audio-Technica innovation, and it's the Audio Design Detachable Coax. And you see in this close-up, it's a pretty interesting sort of wire design. What this gives them is really high quality connections and easy flexibility and portability. So I pull out of the actual, um, carrying case and it's a soft carrying case very nice pouch but it also ships with a second cable and you're looking at this and you're like hmm well what are the differences between the ends and the answer is this is a 3.5 millimeter this is a 4.4 millimeter and you're saying 4.4 millimeter who uses that and the answer is audiophile gear so for example I have this IFI audio hip DAC and on the front, it has both 3.5 and 4.4 millimeter jacks. The idea is that the 4.4 millimeter is higher end, more data throughput and everything. But what I really like is they didn't include an adapter. They just literally ship two different cables. So you can pick if you're using 3.5 or 4.4. Probably you'll be using 3.5. And then the cable itself, if I unhook this, is about four feet long and it could probably do with being a little bit longer. I found these to be a little short, but then again, it's that trade-off because it's also easy and it's not very tangly because if you're sitting right by your music source, it's gonna sound really good. So, one of the things I did not realize when I did my unboxing, and I encourage you to check out my unboxing, is that on the cables, there are ever so subtle indicators of left and right, as you would hope, as is there on the actual headphones themselves. So left to left, and you guessed it, right to right, and I'm ready to go. Now, they are super lightweight, they are super comfortable. They're only 8.6 ounces without the cable connected. So I'll just double check that I have them the right way. Here we go. And now I can just put them on my head and they are so comfortable. Honestly, you'll forget that you have headphones on and then just plug them into your audio source. In this case, I'm using one of my uh, two-in-one PCs and somewhere is the audio jack. I guess it's on the other side. Here we go. And so now I'm ready to go and it's gonna sound really good. But here's the thing is I can actually use something like an amp which is exactly what this IFI device is. This is a great little amp. And you just plug it in via USB-C, second USB-C for power. Just so happens this Dell has two USB-C ports, which is darn good planning on their part. So I can use my amp, do this, plug this in, and the amp does 
a really nice job. I mean, it already sounds good, just straight source, but when you plug in an amp like this IFI unit, then it's like going from really expansive to really, really expansive music. And boy, it just sounded great. I was listening to some early Sting and, you know, with this jazz influences and everything, it's just this big, rich, beautiful sound. It really, these just sounded so nice. Now, Let's see, the wood actually, I should back up and tell you that that maple is from Fujigen of Japan and they also make maple for musical instruments. So very cool. Now the design, it's a soft top and it is super flexible, easily works with big heads or little heads. <laughs> and the right and left are super subtle. They're just tiny little indicators on the band. Um, that could be a little bit more overt. I like some actually just have the R and the L in the ear cups. So you just always know exactly what you're doing. But once they're on, they are sound isolating, but they're not active noise canceling. So if you're in a really noisy environment, you're either going to be turning your music way up or you're still going to hear the ambient noise around you to some extent. These are much more the kind of audiophile headphones that are perfect for a really quiet environment. So when I'm sitting at home and I turn on something like Steely Dan or like Kate Bush or I go to my Sting library, uh, it just sounds really beautiful. And then when I'm using an amp, it sounds that much better. In fact, it's such a rich sound that I had to turn off the IFI X bass, which is just this bass enhancer. It was just too much for me. <laughs> so you might like a lot of bass. That's one way to get that. But even without the amp, this has a full rich sound, a big sound stage. And one of the things I really like about it, it has a real precision to the music. So if you're listening to something like I tried Owl City just for a very different kind of very digital sound and it's just really crisp. There's a real accuracy to its sound reproduction that's very attractive. The highs are not overly bright. The lows are full and rich without being overpowering. These are not your disco headphones. These are not the headphones for someone that's like working on mixing their hip hop songs or something. You know, these are just really nice, high quality, very, very listenable audiophile headphones. No battery life, no microphone to worry about. You can plug these into any device and they're gonna sound really good. But if you put them through an amp or a hi-fi system, yes, people still have hi-fi systems, then it's gonna sound even that much better. If I sound like I have much enthusiasm for these, I do. They just sound great. They're just really nice sounding headphones and they're really pretty too. I mean, when I use these in public places, people stop and ask what kind of headphones they are. They're really very striking. Now, downsides, well, they are wired headphones. They don't have ANC. You know, there's a lot of sort of modern functionality with a microphone or something that you don't have. These are like old school headphones. So many incorporate those actually, or those sort of additional features. That might not be a big deal to you. Um, the only other complaint I have is I think their wires could have been a little bit longer because of this A to DC connection. I don't know that I can buy longer wires. I guess I'd have to go to the Audio Technica site to check, but otherwise I'm kind of constrained to the length of my wire. Or I guess I could do a 3.5 millimeter extension cable, but why do I want to do that? Then again, to be entirely fair, if I need that range, maybe that's where Bluetooth steps in. And Audio-Technica has some very nice Bluetooth headphones too, but I really like this sort of old school, just wired headphones, you plug in, there's no weird electrical fields, there's nothing else going on, it's just great sound reproduction. Which means that the only other thing we do need to talk about is we do need to talk about the price. Now, before I get to the price, I'm gonna ask if you could subscribe to my channel. Go ahead and click or tap on that red subscribe button and you are connected and we are connected. And that's great because I'll tell you, I get access to a ton of gear and I am just constantly really honest, really transparent. I don't really care if I piss off the vendors because they just stop sending me gear, I get other gear. But most of them actually really appreciate transparency and honesty. So 
I'm not going to just shill a product. If I have something like this and I really love it, I'm going to tell you why I really like it because there are some great products out there in the market. <laughs> okay, now with that said, these are the Audio Technica ATH WP900 high res headphones, and they are $649.99 at Amazon.com. That's pretty spendy for a pair of headphones. That's like half the price of a high-end smartphone, right? But let's be honest, earbuds only can do so much. Having these covering your ear and giving you that full, rich sound is a different experience. It's a better experience. So if you really love your music, this is exactly the kind of gear you should be looking at. So I'm a big fan. I'm going to have to go back to listening to some more Sting. What a talented guy he is. As an actor, yeah, we could have that conversation. But as a musician, fantastic. Anyway, I'll hope to catch you in my next video.